Hi, everyone. I'm Pedro. I work for Protocol Labs. Um, <clears throat> I'm the captain of this kind of new group, which is called Dynamic Data and Capabilities Working Group. Um, so we're on GitHub. Um, and our, our main purpose is to research, do research and development of the building blocks that will enable the creation of decentralized uh, apps. So researching things like uh, uh, stuff for dynamic data like CRDTs or identity access control, all the primitives that you need to build decentralized uh, applications on top of IPFS. So um, currently there's a bunch of current endeavors are more engineering focused. Uh, so JavaScript libraries for CRDTs, Peer Star Platform, PeerPad, we'll, I think we'll address PeerPad later. Juan also mentioned uh, PeerPad. So these are all, all CRDT um, related. There's a bunch of um, open source that, that we have um, published. So connectors for well-known CRDT libraries in JavaScript. So, and also, mainly the work that we're, what we are doing is JavaScript based because we want to enable decentralized web applications to be developed. So, um, you'll see a lot of JavaScript here. So, uh, stuff that guarantees uh, encryption at rest for uh, operation based CRDTs, uh, peer CRDTs, a library for causal op based CRDTs. Um, they're based on immutable data, so it's kind of uh, fits well in the IPFS model. Um, so transport for, for that uh, uh, through the IPFS network. Um, and implementation of Delta CRDTs. All of these are, are listed on the Dynamic Data and Capabilities Working Group website, if you want to check it out. Also, Juan has mentioned PeerPad. Um, so this is like one one of the, the, the um, one of the products that well we, we aim to create more of these products to test all the things that we are building underneath. PeerPad is is the first. And and as an engineer, we have a bunch of challenges that that I would like to to share with you. I would like to share, as Evan mentioned, most well. I have a bunch of them in the. Uh, working group issues repo. If you are interested in uh, identity or access control or CRDTs, uh, you can head there and uh, take a look at them and uh, perhaps chime in and give your uh, insights on, on some of these. We have like a long list of discussions on, on some of them. Um, this is where it materializes the, the, the things that we're, next, that we're going to develop uh, next. Um, there are three dom domains, as I mentioned, for this group. So it's dynamic data, identity, and access control. Right now, we're still more focused on dynamic data. So creating uh, strong eventual consistency primitives for um, real-time collaborative web apps um, that are in loosely connected peer-to-peer -peer, uh, networks. Uh, so to make a, a portfolio of CRDTs to make uh, them available to developers. Here, the main challenges are several. Uh, so could be fast boot, garbage collection, persistence, replication performance, network efficiency. Um, the, the persistence, replication performance, and network efficiency we're solving at the IPFS layer. And all the rest is, um, is kind of dependent on researching, uh, on, on the researcher. So I'm an engineer, I'm not a researcher, I'm just putting this, these problems out to the, the research community. Um, so I'm going to describe the, the two RFPs, the problems behind the two RFPs that we have uh, published. So this is uh, the fast boot or catch up problem. Um, so operation based CRDTs uh, work by creating um, an operation log that will be uh, replicated. Um, and so basically that's it. So CMRDT, so uh, commutative uh, replicated data types, um, use this. Uh, this poses a problem for how does an, an, a new fresh node, how is a new fresh node be able to join the group uh, in, a, in a way that does not require 
to, to synchronize the whole uh, operation log. In this, um, um, so if for long running documents, this operation log can be can can be uh, quite big, and so the convergence time is is proportional to the, the size of this log. So is there uh, a way to do snapshotting consistently? Snapshotting how can we achieve this? Uh, should we use delta CRDTs instead? And with the downsides of losing the implicit history that we have on, on operation-based CRDTs, all, all the authorship that, that we can derive from that history. Um, that's one problem. The other problem is local garbage collection. So how does the replica safely compact the, the, the history? It is, these two are, are kind of re related, two problems that are, are kind of related. So we've bundled that up into uh, uh, um, an open problem statement that's optimized storage and convergence time in causal uh, uh, CMRDTs. So I encourage you to take a look at, it, at, at that. Um, so, and, so there's an associated RFP, as uh, Evan uh, described. The other one is more, is relates to, the, to dynamic data, but more about access control of uh, eventual, eventually consistent data. So how do we create a, a cryptographic uh, ACL type that um, gar still guarantees strong eventual consistency when applied to um, a CRDT. Um, so I think this is a, um, a hard problem because if you think that you can have like offline nodes that are performing changes, they think they have the capability, but now the capability has been revoked by, by some other node that has that capability of revoking. Uh, and still, when I come up, when I'm connected to, to the network again, I still have a, a bunch of uh, operations that I want to uh, send to the other nodes. Either the other, all the other nodes know that I don't have the capability, and so that, that's, that's okay. No, no, no other node will accept those operations. Or if this is not, uh, they're not consistent about, about that knowledge, uh, they will, some of them will, will take the operation and the others may not uh, accept that operation. Uh, so they have different views on the on the ACL at at, at a certain time. So um, this is um, this is uh, something that that I think we we I'd like to have more insight on uh, from the research community. So there's an uh, again there's a, an open problem statement uh, describing this, and there's an, an associated uh, RFP. Um, that describes this. Um, and we have a bunch of other problems that I, I could, I could go on, um, but I won't. I don't. I don't have the time. So if you want to chat about this later or head out to uh, these uh, um, GitHub repos and the research uh, repos uh, repo in protocol that Evan showed has this these uh, RFPs. Um, Thank you. Yeah, that's it. All right.